Well, this is the main electronics box that I'm going to use for testing uh, the autopilot. Um, and I've been working on providing connections to this, um, which are waterproof. The box itself is IP68 rated. And I bought these Lumberg uh, plugs and sockets, which are also IP68 rated. Um, and they require an 18 millimeter diameter hole, um, which is quite difficult to cut accurately in this plastic. Um, the spec says 18 millimeters plus 0.1 millimeters, so the tolerance is quite tight. And the reason for that is if you look, I don't know if we can see this. The O-ring is quite small and is right up close to the thread. So, for, well, there's plenty of scope, in my view, for a leak to occur between the O-ring and a slightly oversized hole. So that's what's worrying me. So what I'm going to do is to test this. So I've mounted both the uh, sockets um, into the plastic box and then I realized of course that in order to test it uh, I needed some dust caps. Unfortunately Lumberg only supplies the dust caps in packs of five which cost 25 quid each so these dust caps cost me 50 quid which is a bit of a nuisance but uh, at least I've got plenty of dust caps now. So that those should now be watertight connections. So what I'm going to do is heat this, this whole thing up and then plunge it into cold water. Put the lid on, plunge it into cold water and see what happens. Now this uh, electric fire of mine is at least 50 years old and it's got a red bulb in it just to make it look more attractive and that bulb has never been replaced despite the fact that it gets far more mechanical shock than uh, a bulb hanging from a, a, a ceiling uh, rose. So it's quite odd that but this uh, is a good I think it's a three kilowatt heater and it's uh, you won't be able to read this e easily because my this is a very old fluke meter, but it says 65.2 degrees C. So I'm going to leave these boxes here, let them warm, warm up to that uh, temperature, and then seal them and plunge them into cold water. Right, well the box is warm, so here we go. We'll screw, make sure these are all tight. Hope it doesn't crack the plastic. Right, everything is tight. There we go. I'm going to leave that till it cools down. And uh, then we'll see how much water there is inside. Right, well it's been in there for a good long time, so I'm going to take it out. Oh my god, I never got this in. You fool! Look at that! That was my fault for not aligning the box correctly. What kind of idiot are you? Right, start again. Well, I've learned something about this box. It has an alignment tab here so that the, the lid will only go one way around, that way rather than that way. 
and I put it on the wrong way. So that's worth knowing. But that's annoying also because I've already glued this this thing in the position I wanted it in and now I've got to have it in the other position. Well, never mind. Back to the drawing board. Well, I've just learned something else about these uh, connectors that uh, water did not go from here through to this dust cap which was completely dry but this one was wet inside so water went from there through to here. Um, I've just been blowing these things out and I'm going to heat them up and get them dry and then we'll repeat the test. Uh, I think these uh, Lumberg IP68 connectors are pretty good value for money. I spent hours and hours on the RS Components website searching for circular connectors that were IP68 rated and uh, uh, met my requirements. Uh, I wanted to mount uh, sockets in plastic boxes which are four and a half millimeters thick, the wall of them. And the vast majority of circular connectors specify a maximum panel thickness of two millimeters. So that ruled them out. There are lots of mill spec connectors on the RS Components website, but they cost at least a hundred pounds each. So that was ruled out. These ones cost uh, eight to ten pounds each, maybe a, even less six pounds for some of them, depending on how popular each model is. The uh, plugs, this is a cable mount plug, are quite difficult to assemble as far as you have to work out exactly how to do it. And uh, as usual, Dick have managed to work out how to do it correctly. Um, but when correctly assembled, they should be uh, IP68 uh, waterproof. So I'm hoping that these panel mounts uh, work with the 18 millimeter holes that I've drilled uh, and remain watertight. Right, we're back again. It's hot and uh, dry inside. And now I've got to put this thing on the right way round. I can't believe I could be so stupid as to do what I did last time. You find that perfectly plausible, do you? Yeah. Right, this time it is correct. Right, well, it should have cooled down by now, so we'll have it out. And let's hope for the best. I don't see any water in there. Just clean the outside off. It looks dry inside. The interesting thing is if it's still gas tight. So we should be able to take these screws out and it should still The lid should remain on due to suction or atmospheric pressure. Right, so that's completely... Yes. 
it's still gas tight. So if I break this, there we go. Yeah, well, that's completely dry in there. So, the Lumberg IP68 connectors and this RS Components uh, plastic box have passed the test, which is good, otherwise I'd have spent a lot of money on things that didn't work. But uh, it does work. Great.